Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jume. Yesterday, practice for three fall sports began. That's tennis, golf, and 4A football. Gillette native Austin Fort used to start practice this week before starring at tight end for the Pokes. Many of you know he signed with the Denver Broncos as an undrafted free agent in April. But unfortunately, he just tore his ACL and is out for his rookie season. It happened Thursday in the Broncos preseason game against the Seattle Seahawks. After a 29-yard reception in the fourth quarter, Fort's left knee buckled. He tore his left ACL and had to be carted off the field. Fort was emerging as a serious contender to make the Broncos 53-man roster. During his career at Wyoming, Austin finished with 17 catches for 221 yards and four touchdowns. And a current Cowboys player also tore his ACL. Defensive tackle Ravante Holt suffered the injury last week and will miss his entire junior season. He was in line for his first year as a full-time starter after the Pokes lost three defensive tackles from last season. Head coach Craig Bull said, quote, it was unfortunate. There was a surgery that was done a couple years ago and the graft didn't take and it's gotten torn. He'll have the surgery again, close quote. Along with two offensive linemen, Ravante is the third projected starter Wyoming has lost for this season because of injury. Good luck to Ravante and Austin in their recoveries. But before those guys played football with pads, they likely played football with flags. The Boys and Girls Club Flag Football League starts in less than a month. The registration deadline is August 22nd. The club expects between 350 and 400 kids from kindergarten to fifth grade, dance moves included. For 25 bucks, the youngsters play from September 9th to October 30th, and they even get to keep their jersey and make countless memories with their fathers, mothers, and family members. All the games and practices take place at North Casper softball and baseball fields. Here's athletic coordinator Jake Wilson on the goal of the league. Well, the goal is to go outside and just watching kids have fun and develop those skills, you know, whether it's passing, catching, um, any of those skills and just having fun. Um, that's the overall goal when I go outside and I can see kids smiling and scoring touchdowns and everybody's cheering. That's, you know, that's makes it all worth it. Got to love those kids. Just down the road, the Casper Skating School is offering summer ice skating lessons. They're half an hour every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for the whole month. This is the Casper Ice Arena's third session of summer ice skating lessons. Students will receive a three-week public skating membership during their course session. That way they can practice their skills outside of class. Here's Supervisor Blue McGrath on the importance of the summer camp. It's awesome. That's, that's why, uh, that's part of the reason that we're here. We want to see improvement in, uh, you know, in anybody who's, who's skating, uh, playing hockey, figure skating, anything they're doing here, that's that's what we're about in, in our recreation department here is improving life skills for kids. In the golf world, Pinedale native Jordan Costello is competing in the U.S. Amateur at Pinehurst Country Club. He's now a senior at the University of Utah. In his first round, Jordan played well below his standards with a 12 over par 82. But then today he came back strong with a 4 over par 74. That puts him in a tie for 237th out of 312 golfers. UW transfer Bryce Waters is nine strokes better after his two rounds. This morning, Bryce shot a great round of one over par 71. He was ahead of the cut, but then unfortunately came back this evening with a seven over par 77, so he'll miss the cut by two strokes. The field of 312 players will now be reduced to just 64 players for the match play portion at the U.S. Amateur. And speaking of the Pokes, the Cowgirls soccer team was picked to finish fifth in the conference that's very low in a preseason poll voted on by the Mountain West 12 head coaches. Boise State was picked to finish first, followed by defending conference champion San Jose in second. Remember last year, the Cowgirls soccer team finished 12-4-4 overall and 7-2-2 in the conference. They earned a share of the Mountain West regular season championship for the first time in school history. So that's a little disrespectful. They got fifth place. <laughs> Disrespectful. And, yeah, I mean, I think they should be valued a little bit higher. And also, guys, you could have expected this. Rockies lost to the Diamondbacks. <laughs> well, you know, you the set Diamondbacks the bar. Diamondbacks aren't even a good I know. team. I know. That's true. That's too bad. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. So frustrating.